Hey, what's up everyone? In this video, I'm going to show you how to record video from your video game consoles. Alright, so all you really need is one of these. These are called audio and video capture dongles. This one here is from a company called YCE, and it cost me about $10. It's pretty straightforward. You connect it to a USB port on your computer, and then you connect the gaming console's HDMI cable to the other end of the dongle. If you're trying to connect an older gaming console that doesn't use HDMI, like an NES, a Wii, or a PlayStation 2, you're going to need an adapter. Let me show you some examples. Here I have a PlayStation 2 adapter that connects directly to the back of the console and lets you connect an HDMI cable to it. Unfortunately, it also requires you to connect the adapter to a power source, but plugging it into one of the PS2 USB ports works just fine. There are also these other kinds of adapters where you can plug the three colored composite jacks from the console and then connect an HDMI cable to the adapter. Much like the direct PS2 adapter that I mentioned earlier, these also need to be connected to a power source. Alright, so now that all your connections are complete, you now want to download software to capture video from the console. One of the most popular and easy to use applications for this is called OBS. And best of all, it's free. All right, so to download OBS, open up your browser and go to this website, obsproject.com forward slash download. Once you're on that page, select the operating system that you're running. I'm running Windows, so I'll click on this one. And then I'll click on Download Installer. Once the installer has downloaded, go ahead and open up that installer. Once you open up the installer, a window like this will pop up. Go ahead and click Next, and then Next, and then click on Install. Now, I already have OBS installed on my computer, so I'm just going to go ahead and close this. Okay. Now, make sure that your console is connected properly. And once you make sure everything's connected, go ahead and turn on your gaming console. And then open up OBS. Okay. Now, down here, you see where it says Sources. Go ahead and click on the plus button. And then click on Video Capture Device. Now I have a PlayStation 2 connected, so I'm going to call this PlayStation 2, but you could really call it whatever you want. Click on OK. And then here where it says device, it should be set to USB video. Okay. And you can already see here that there's video from the gaming console being displayed here. Okay. Just click on OK. And then down here in the audio mixer box, you should see an audio bar moving up and down like that. Okay. But don't worry if you don't hear anything from your speakers. We're going to fix that right now. Go ahead and click on the little two gears at the bottom. And you see here where it says PlayStation 2. So that's my source. Okay. And then here for audio monitoring, you want to click on that and change it to monitor and output. And then click on close. Now before we start recording, let me just uh, lower the volume on this a little bit. Okay. If you want to change the format, go to file, settings, and then go to output. And then down here where it says recording format, you can change it to something else because the default is usually this MK, MKV format. Um, but for me personally, MP4s are easier to work with. 
but you can choose whatever format you want from here. Okay. All right, so once you have the volume that you want, you can go ahead and click on Start Recording. And down here, you can see that the record symbol is on here. And it'll tell you how long it's been recording for and the frames per second. Okay. And um, the CPU here, this is just how much processing power it's using. Uh, right now, it's using very little, obviously. Okay. And once you are done recording, just click on Stop Recording. And all your videos will be saved to your videos directory. Okay. So you should see your videos under your videos folder there. Okay. So if I go ahead and close OBS and I open up this video, you'll see that this is what we recorded just now. Okay. And then if we right click, on the file, we get some more information on it. Uh, nine megabytes, so that's uh, that's kind of big, right? For something that's only about 30 seconds long. But uh, again, you could always change the format if you want. You could also tweak around the resolution also. All right, so that is all for this video. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Thanks.